A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video and for hosting the Wild We Roam online store that launched this whole boat life adventure. Good morning. Oh my gosh, welcome to season two of Boat Life. <sighs> Lou's still sleeping in there, but we are gonna kick off season two of Boat Life here in this incredible house. It's wild. So we are no longer on the boat, obviously. We put Penelope on the hard. She's back at the boat yard. And we got a lot of projects to do this winter. But before I get into this beautiful house, um, let's roll this new intro because Lou's been working really hard on it. And I think you're gonna love it. Hi, I'm Dana and that's my husband, Lou. For the past five years, we've been on a mission to live creatively. It all started when we quit our jobs in New York, moved abroad, bought a rusty old van named Odie, fixed him up in the mountains in Spain, drove through most of Europe, wrote a book, sold the van, and bought a sailboat. Our next goal is to circumnavigate the earth in our 1976 Rasmus 35. But first, we need to prepare Penelope for the voyage of a lifetime. So welcome to the Winter Build series. What did you think of the intro? Hope you liked it. Well, you guys were watching that, I got dressed. I'm now gonna get ready to cook Lou an amazing brunch, celebrate Sunday and the fact that the intro is done. dishwasher like the ease that it is to make this big brunch is like crazy and it just makes me really grateful that we decided to like take it slow get this house and then work on Penelope during the day Lou breakfast is ready this is a good tradition we are starting. Right? Next Sunday, it's your turn. Yeah? Yeah, so I've got tofu scramble, baked oven potatoes, some tomato with balsamic, wow. a little rice. This is a nice tradition we're starting. <laughs> it's hot? Mm. So you might be wondering, like I was, where are Lou's curls? Um, but so basically when we took Penelope out of the water, we realized that we had no winter clothes because we had thought we'd be in the Caribbean, you know, in bikinis, enjoying the like crystal clear water, but instead we needed winter clothes. So I drove down tonight, I left Lou for 24 hours. Well, there's no going back now. I guess we'll see what Dana thinks. Oh my god! <laughs> I got my hair. <laughs> Who are you? Oh my gosh! Sorry. I've never seen you this short ever before. <laughs> oh my gosh, you look, you look good. Oh, I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. Oh my god, blue. Once Lou's hair got like past his eyebrows, he started having the same moments that I used to have in the van when like I had so much more hair than him, but you just get this, like the curls get so big. Yeah. And some days they look great, and then other days they're like poofy and crazy, and there's like nothing you can tame them. At least I can put my hair back. So Lou is going to go edit for a bit, and I thought I would walk you through a little tour of our house.
So, welcome to our new home. It is a beautiful little winter rental that we got. It's kind of like a cottage. It's got this beautiful living room where we've been spending a lot of time reading all of these amazing books. We are gonna try to spend the winter reading everything that we got. We have a lot of books, so that's on the agenda. Then we have this beautiful kitchen which has just been such a treat to cook in here. Like I do absolutely love our boat kitchen. It's one of my favorite parts of the boat, but just having so much space has been a really, really nice, especially my biggest thing is that we can make batch cooking and then we can like, let's say we make like a ton of rice or a ton of quinoa, beans, veggies or stuff like that. And then we can put them in Tupperware and then we don't have to cook for a few days, which is a really nice thing. Then we've got Lou's office. So this was set up as a bedroom. The whole place was set up as three bedroom, but we don't really need that because it's just the two of us. So we've got Lou's set up, which is amazing. We've got a little workout bike, yoga mat, more gear storage. You know, we try not to have that much stuff, but honestly, the amount of gear we have, we have so much more gear than we have clothes. But then we have, this is our crazy room. It's not that like beautiful, but it is very functional. So we've got our old sails tons of laundry and should put away. And then here is a bit of a pantry. So storage, nice. Oh, and there's laundry in there, which has been so, so clutch. And then we've got our bathroom. It's really like everything you need, plus a bathtub, you know? I can just envision us going to the boat, we'll be freezing out, you know, middle of like February or something like that. And then we can come back and take a warm bath and I think it'll be a really nice treat. But I think my favorite part is just how bright the space is. It's like with the white walls and all the light pouring in and the light floors, I feel like, I don't know, very rejuvenating and like re-energizing being in this space. And I think just like getting quality sleep here, we're really feeling we're like on the up and up, right? Yeah. So that's our new home. We should hit the road. Let's go back to our old home. I miss Penelope. Let's go check on her. Here we go. Let's do this. Do you miss Penelope? I do, I'm so excited to see her. It's a gorgeous day. I wonder if they've already shrink wrapped her yet. Yeah. <sighs> Butt warmers on. <laughs> So we are zooming to the boat yard, and today is really about looking around the boat, taking measurements, figuring out exactly how we want to build this all winter long. There's quite a few little projects we have that need to get done by May. We are going to install a fridge, we're going to redo the kitchen, we are going to redo all of the plumbing in the bathroom because the holding tank smells terrible. We want to install a water maker, we're getting new rigging, we're getting new sails. Penelope is getting a major facelift. When you have projects that are gonna take you like five to six months, it's like you wanna make sure that you're making a realistic plan because I feel like that sometimes like yeah. we get a little like over in over our heads because we have so many things that we wanna do. Back at the boat yard. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Right? Let's yeah. see if we can find a ladder that we can snag. Ah, oh, it's funny to be back here, isn't it? Yeah. One year later. <sighs> almost. Almost. But it's really nice out, so that's good. It's fun to work on the boat when the sun is shining. Mm -hmm. And we haven't gotten the plastic wrap on the boat yet, just the frame. So it's going to be bright and quiet. I'm excited to be back. Yeah, let's find a ladder. Okay. I did it. You did it. Good job. Should I try it? Ooh. Come on, little bear. <laughs> Come on. This one's very light. Good job. There you go. Thank you. Back on Penelope. We got the structure in, and they're going to cover it with plastic soon. Big thanks to Joe for building it this way. Because now this is really tall, so hopefully we'll have a lot of like head space for the whole winter. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna build it around like the whole arch, so. Yeah, we're the last boat that doesn't have plastic so far around us. Yeah. But we also came out of the water really late. But we're in the front row because hopefully we will be getting out of here at the beginning of the season. We're thinking like May we'll put the boat in the water. Um, hopefully, like last year we had hoped for May, but then we ran into a lot of issues, like our engine wire was melting and didn't get the boat until June 24th, I think. So hopefully earlier this coming year, but before that, a lot of work has to be done. 
So we want to get like brainstorming or something. Yeah. I feel like we need to get situated on the boat, figure out what the project should be, and then we can maybe walk through what we're going to do. <laughs> we are back. Oh, I miss Penelope. It's so good in here. It smells like really like musty, like old boat. So the biggest project we are undertaking this winter, I think, is installing a new fridge. And that's gonna go in here somewhere. And the fridge itself is like this big, it has one compartment for ice and one compartment just normal cooling, or you can make switch them. So you could have both freezer or both fridge. And it's gonna raise this section up and just make like a whole mess in here. <laughs> but there's really no other place it can go on the boat. So it's just gonna be like about un or removing this stuff and then in here one of the things we want to do is we lived with this ice box all summer long and we went and got ice all the time and it was a fun little project but it just caused us to waste a ton of food because food was constantly going bad and the ice only lasts for a couple days so we're going to remove the ice box and turn this entire area here all of this space is used up by the big ice box so we're going to take that out and this is gonna become the new kitchen pantry. I'm actually really excited because right here is where I had most of our storage for like dry goods. Yeah. And then now it'll be much more accessible with like drawers or shelves, whatever we end up doing. So this is where we keep all of the solar charge controllers. Only one of the panels is still connected because the other ones are all uninstalled. But this is gonna be made just a tiny bit bigger because we need to fit charge controllers for the wind turbines in here as well and I want it to match the mahogany of the rest of the boat. So it'll just be like a quick little project, making that bigger and redoing some of the wiring there. Okay, so this is like the outdoor control panel. This is where we have the different navigation devices. This is to start the engine. And basically what we're gonna do this winter is we're gonna expand this all the way down to here. And I'm gonna switch it from the starboard to teak. So it's gonna look really nice and match the teak over here oh, nice. because we have a couple more instruments coming and they don't fit. I've tried like rearranging this and there's no way to get all of the instruments to fit. So this just needs to be made bigger so that the new instruments will fit. This will get unmounted, this will get removed and then this will just be like the outdoor control station and there might even be like a little room so we can make like a little shelf. We also are gonna be redoing some of the bed situation which I'm so excited about. Okay, so it's a little chaotic in here, but so this is where we spent a lot of our time. Like we slept in this room a lot last summer and that's because the front V-berth, the holding tank had some issues. So it was like smelling kind of gross. So we ended up moving to this room, which worked out great because it's nice and it's separate from everything. So it really feels like you're like going to a bedroom, but obviously the bed situation is not ideal. It's like two really narrow beds connected by this thing. And then you have this pole here. So I don't know what we can do to make the bed situation in here better. One idea that we had is that we could like expand this side where Lou slept over to here. So then this whole area would become kind of like, I don't even think it's, it's not a full, it's like an extended twin. It's a cuddle zone. That's yeah, it's like want. a cuddle zone basically. And then Ultimately though, I think what we want to do is move back to the V-berth and have that be like our main bedroom. And then if the weather is bad or if we're on a passage, like this room actually seems really nice if we're doing watch because one person is sleeping here or the other person is in the cockpit on watch. And if anything happens, they can like get in touch with them so quickly like the other person. So I kind of think it's a bit of musical chairs or like a Goldilocks syndrome of like, there's pros and cons to all of the bedrooms on this boat and none of them are perfect because the front boat, you know, it's like, I called it a pizza slice. It's like your feet are just like on top of each other, but it does have better ventilation. So I don't know the bed situation in here, we're still figuring out, but I think that extending this one will at least be progress. Also, can we bring these home? I want to use them as weights because this was like the bane of my existence. This summer I was like trying to carry this and it's, what is this? 20 liters, I think. 
and it was way too heavy for me. So I'm thinking I'll put like halfway fill it, do some curls, and then keep filling it until I get stronger. And then I can just carry them like it's no big deal. <laughs> I love it. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we've decided the first project that we're going to get started with next week is below all of the stuff. It is the holding tank, obviously the best kind of problem to have on a boat, but really like we started the summer sleeping in this room and then as the summer progressed, the holding tank just had such a like bad smell to it. It was like impossible to sleep here. We think it's from like the old tubing or maybe like the old hand pump. So we actually want to switch out the hand pump for an electric pump, put in total noob tubing because the hand pump in the bathroom was like leaking a bit. It got gross. It wasn't ideal. It was very smelly. So that where you want to fix first and then yeah, we can get on to the rest of it. That's the sound of water, baby. So this will be the foot pump in the bathroom because we realized like when you go to turn the water on to like wash your face, it's like you waste so much water because you're turning the water on, then you're putting your hands down, then you're splashing your face and the water's still going and then I'm like, ah, we're wasting water. So we decided we wanted a foot pump in the bathroom to waste less water. What else do we got in here? What's this? Maybe this is the faucet? That's the new kitchen faucet, I think. New kitchen faucet. What did you order? Oh, she pretty. <laughs> you like her? Yeah, let's see. Oh, this is perfect. Hey, hey, look at that. Wow. I think this will fit. Why don't we try it? Yeah, I don't know. The bathroom counters are so narrow. I measured it. Yeah? But you never know. Big, it looks very large. Oh, I think it would work. That would be That's really so nice. much better. Right. This guy, it's like the second that this water would come on, I think because the water pressure was so high, it would hit this and then splash everywhere. And so I feel like this is gonna make it much better. I and we could like do laundry in here too. I think laundry would be good too. Cause the thing is, it's like for this one, it was like nice to have a hand pump, but it's like to wash your face, how do you hand pump while you are trying to put water, you know? Yeah, we need a foot pump and a deeper foot sink. Foot pump and a deeper sink. And I think that we will be in order. And you're gonna put a new countertop in here too, right? Yeah, I think we will have to. New counter in here. Lou is head of construction per usual, so. He's going to be leading the projects. And then there's a lot of sewing projects too that we need to do like reupholstering, new bimini because ours ripped, um, Lee cloths, a lot of other things. I'd love to make all of our courtesy flags, but that's just for fun. So I don't know if I'll have time for that, but sewing projects, studying projects, getting super strong projects. I it's going like to be an epic winter. An epic, epic winter. But I think that kind of wraps up us on the boat. Those are the projects we want to do. I feel like good when we were mapping it out month by month. It does seem like a lot has to get done because I kept telling myself like, oh, we don't have to rush. We're no, here. We do have it's to like rush. we we definitely we don't need to rush, but we need to <laughs> kind of rush a little bit. Um, so, yeah, let's head back to the house. I don't think there's anything left to do. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll take a bath. Crushing the suburbs, Lou. All right. <laughs> <sighs> we have a microwave, so this will not take very long. Fiber, fire has been behaving very well. Yeah? Yeah. Dinner. Wow, it looks amazing. Uh, 
And just like that, the heat turns on. Oh, it's such a treat. Right? I can't believe how quickly it warms the place up. Yeah. It will only be like 10 minutes and then this place will be toasty. So what are you choosing for tonight's study sesh? You have cruising handbook. I think I'm gonna go for weather for sailors. Okay. I have modern work marine weather, would you like that? I'll take that one. Uh, so tonight is a weather night. I love all our books so much. So, this one for you. Mm -hmm. This one for me. It's actually really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we have the right books and this one is really, really cool that you got. Like this I feel like will help us plan our passages so well. So that's nice, but there's a lot to learn. It's like, I have no idea how to read a pilot chart, but soon we will. Luckily we have a few months to get our handle of weather and meteorology and passage planning and all that good stuff. But I feel like we have the resources we need now it's just time to study. Yeah. But if any of you guys have done ocean crossings or you know know a lot about blue water sailing, like leave any tips in the comments. We really appreciate them. And honestly, thank you so much for supporting our channel, subscribing. It really helps us out. Um, but yeah, I think that is my hot water boiling right now. I'm gonna make some more tea. I'm gonna switch to fiction, read on the couch, turn the lights out. Yeah, can I go? Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'll never forget the moment we saw wildlyroam.com for the first time. There's something really special and grounding about having your own domain name and a beautiful place to display all your work. It's helped us grow our audience, connect with new clients, and promote the Live Creatively ebook, which helped fund our boat purchase. If you'd like to start your own website or online store, head to squarespace.com slash wildlyroam for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This is on here, but this one I've tried to start, oh my God, so many times, and I have to admit, it's quite boring. Puts you right to sleep. It really does. This is, I feel like a, gotta hit the books at like 7 a.m. to understand this one. It's not an evening read. No, I've, I've literally read the first 20 pages of that book many times.